Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Divinely Destined. Welcome back to another reading. This is going to be a general collective message read for the beautiful zodiac sign of Capricorn. Hey beautiful souls, how you doing? I pray that you guys are having a good day. Happy holidays, Capricorn. If you are new to the channel, please like the reading. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for all the emails, the kind the kind comments. If you guys need to reach me, you can reach me through my email. You know, you can find me on my email here. If you guys want to book me for a reading, Capricorn, go ahead. I'm available. If you guys, if you guys, um, if you guys just need someone to talk to, okay? The holiday season has been rough. People been getting on your nerves. You're stressing out. You need someone to talk to. Hey, reach me by my email. I love you. Wow, we got rejection. Someone rejected you, Capricorn? Hey, don't feel bad. It hurts, but guess what? Your angels want you to know <laughs> that was actually divine protection, okay? Anything that I'm not supposed to have, I pray to God it stays away. I don't want it, okay? We got supports. Yeah, they hurt you. It hurt you. Lean on your inner support at this time, okay? Stability. You want stability, Capricorn. Perhaps on some level, this person knew they couldn't offer you that, so they rejected you in some way, form, or fashion. They were not stable for you or stable enough for you. Regrets. One day they're going to regret that, though, okay? Because, you know, sometimes you're supposed to take, you're supposed to take risks and, you know, what? But remember, overall energy is this person's rejection of you was actually divine protection. And the risk that they didn't take today is gonna come back and bite them tomorrow. Or they're they're feeling this they're feeling this regret for not taking this chance with you, Capricorn. But remember, this person had lacked some sort of stability, so this is why they probably rejected you. They wasn't ready for stability with you, or they didn't have stability to give you, or they're just not a stable person. Either way, go. I feel like this person is definitely feeling some regret about choosing not to go forward with you or ending things with you. Sometimes all it takes is to communicate. Communication is key in any situation in life. Communicate effectively. I think a lot of these things could have been, this whole situation could have been handled much better and very, very, very differently had there been more communication from this person. Oh, can I get more messages? Archangel Michael, obsession. Now they can't stop thinking about you. Damn, I had Capricorn. I had her. I had him. I had him. I had her. I had her. I had her. But I was completely unstable and unrational. And I pushed them away. They're obsessed with you now. Archangel Michael, what is rejection? Warning. Yeah, this person is obsessed with you, Capricorn. There's a warning here. Okay, you feel bad because they rejected you. Guess what? This person is having a lot of obsessive thoughts about you. And they're unstable in some way. Okay, so it's best that this person stay the hell away from you from now. For now, okay? For now. Thank God for that rejection. Okay, because... Obsession is not always pretty. Obsession is very dangerous and it can lead to people getting hurt. Okay, this person is emotionally this person is emotionally unstable. Okay, they're they're obsessions with you. You know, they mainly mad at them damn self. They mad at themselves, Capricorn. I see that here. A lot of it is mad. They mad at themselves, okay? And it's causing this person to have these obsessive thoughts and this this obsessive need to control you at this point. Like she's mine, Capricorn is mine. He's mine. No, they're not. Okay. You chose not to move forward or you were unstable. You were very emotionally unhinged and unstable towards Capricorn. Capricorn rejected you. Capricorn left you because you were not stable or you were emotionally unhinged. Now you must stew in your regrets. You must deal with this now. And of course, they're obsessed because they can't control the outcome. They can't control you at this point. Okay, and your angels are saying, don't dismiss the red flags. Don't let this person sweet talk you back, Capricorn, because they're still dealing with some emotional instability and or obsessions with you. And obsession is not good. Obsession, obsession is okay, but sometimes it can get deadly. Okay, remember that, Capricorn. Okay, it's kind of like after a woman, after a woman leaves a man, okay, that was physically violent. They always say, just take some time to. Um, to not see him, not meet up with him, because that's when they strike you. That's when they kill you. Okay, Capricorn, that's the energy that I'm picking up on. Okay, yeah. 
don't some of you guys need to just stay away from this person because obsession can turn deadly they don't want no one else to have you we got longing okay yeah they're longing for you i feel like this person has some emotional issues that they're dealing with that's tied to you okay either they took a chance on you and they lost you or they never took a chance on you and they lost you either way it go they regret that now they're obsessed with it ah uh, yep yeah, they played too many games for one and they lost you okay yeah soulmates now they want to say you're my soulmate okay you're my true love capricorn <laughs> you're the one well sometimes you know what god will put the one in your life and if you can't see that well guess what eventually god is going to put someone else in that can see it because we have multiple soulmates okay so remember that capricorn a soulmate will love you they will accept you they will respect you unconditionally some of you guys will be getting soulmates and you're being called not to reject the soulmate you know a soulmate will alert you to their presence by coming to you in their dreams your dreams pay attention to your dreams capricorn some of you guys have soulmate energy in your energy and you're being called to be alert to that okay this person is this ex person or this person whoever this is they're gonna have to just live with the fact that they're going to have to stew in their regrets that it's over, okay? Because there's so many energy here for the Capricorn. Also, your angels certainly want you to know that this person, they rejected you, okay? You were their soulmate. Remember, we got multiple soulmates. You were a soulmate type energy son to this person, but they were emotionally unstable, physically unstable, financially unstable, emotionally not ready, or, or they may have already been in another connection, Capricorn. Whatever the reason... It's didn't come together or it didn't last. This person has some regrets and some longings and some obsessions with you. It's very likely and very possible that this person played a lot of games, not realizing that they had a soulmate. Okay. Yeah. Passion. Mm-hmm. Wow. This person has a lot of, they have a lot of passion for you. Okay. Oh, Self-care. Yep. Yeah. Capricorn, you're being called to just continue to clear your energy field and focus on yourself. Okay. Yeah, focus on yourself because you have soulmate energy here and you're being called not to reject it, okay? Some some people don't even know that they have a soulmate. So pay attention to the signs of a soulmate entering your life or being in your life, okay? Retreat. Yes. This is definitely giving me creepy vibes for this person, okay? This person that lost you. Now, they're obsessed. They're they somewhere by themselves, probably in nature, in a, in a damn cabin in the woods crying over you. Okay, let's play hard, you know. Integrity. Your soulmate will have integrity. They will be honorable. They'll be decent. They're going to love you. Okay, this person definitely didn't have any integrity here. They played too many fucking mind games, Capricorn. Your angels, your ancestors are saying, you know what? Did that person really align with your values and or your morals? If you're obsessed about them still, Capricorn, if you're the one that's still thinking about them, if you're the one that's longing for them, if you're the one that's obsessed with them, ask yourself that. Okay? Did they have any integrity? Okay? Do they align with your vision for the future? Do they do they do they align with where you're going in your life? If the answer is no, then that's not that you did the right thing by leaving them or they or their rejection of you was the right thing. Okay? time apart some of you you just on a break okay i feel this energy of a very very passionate relationship here where you're off and on off and on off and on okay right now you guys may be off okay but remember capricorn you don't want to play these games with a soulmate okay because the soulmate will alert you to their presence but they can't be taken away from you okay we got intuition trust your intuition okay trust your intuition you already know the answer capricorn you already know whether or not you're going to take this person back or you're going to continue to play these games with this person or you're going to just heal from this person heal heal your heart heal your heal your soul heal your heal your spirit from this energy and move on because you do have new love okay soulmate energy in your energy no doubt so there's a new love coming or some of you guys are going to go back because i see this off and on energy with this person okay back and forth back and forth okay we got patience you've been patient okay and I'm also picking up on the energy of this person patiently being in the background, obsessed, in, in retreat mode, okay? So this person is making plans unbeknownst to you. So you always need to be aware of that, Capricorn, especially with obsession here. Watch yourself, okay? You and this person are just on different pages. This person is not 
They don't represent integrity. They don't even have integrity. All they did was play fucking games with you. They ghosted you. They lied. They sexed you up real good. They left. They come back in. They ask for forgiveness. You take them back, and it's the same thing. That shit childish as hell. Okay, you deserve better. Capricorn. Abundance. Okay. Woo. I feel like for some of you, you've become more abundant since this situation, since this rejection, since this breakup. Things have just flow better for you and if it hasn't been your angels want you to know you've done the work abundance flows to you now why look back don't look back go forward okay go forward sweethearts Ooh, we got a twin flame energy on the board Ooh, beautiful some of you guys have twin flames capricorn some of you guys are twin flames some of you guys need to know that this is your twin flame that has been playing these damn fucking mind games with you and if they, they need to know, your twin flame need to know that you're going to have a soulmate, okay? Yep. Your twin flame may be going through a spiritual awakening. We got friendship. Yes. Take time to be friends with people before you jump into bed with them. We got a past life connection. Yes. Of course, you and your twin flame known each other in the past life. It's a past life connection. Okay. Second chance. Will you give this thing a second chance? Once again, your angels want you to know, does it align with your integrity? Is it somebody you see yourself with in 10 years being happy? Okay. If not, let them go. You got a soulmate coming in and he's here. She's here. She's now. She's already in your energetic field and so is your twin flame. Okay. The twin flame will always be a part of you, Capricorn, but that doesn't mean you have to be with them. Okay. Yep. That doesn't mean you have to be with them. Trust. True love is about trust. Can you trust this thing to go forward? Or do you have doubts because all they ever did was play damn games with you? Okay, true love, your soulmate, they ain't got time for that. They want to go where you go. They want to be where, you, where you're at. They want to breathe the air that you breathe. They get jealous of the people that get to breathe the air that you breathe. Okay, your soulmate wants to do the things with you that you want to do with them. They trust you. They're going to trust you. Your soulmate is going to want you to trust them. They don't have to play games with you. They're not going to be able to get nothing over on you. Soulmates ain't trying to get nothing over on you. Your soulmate want to love you, okay? And you you know what? You're being called today to pay attention to that, too, because your soulmate is basically saying it's safe to trust them, okay? It's safe to trust them. Protect it. I will protect you. Your soulmate is going to protect you. You see that, Capricorn? They're going to protect you, okay? You're going to protect them, and that connection is protected, okay? Yes. Remember, before you just lay down with someone, Capricorn, especially if you want to take the relationship further, be friends with them. Get to know them. Okay? I love you. God bless.